started when some posts on TikTok from Gen Zers called for Eminem to be canceled over his history of controversial lyrics. This morning, some of rapper Eminem's hit lyrics landing him in the middle of a generational battle. Some pushing to cancel the artist. Now, the cancellation, supposedly, of Eminem, I think that little news segment I just played gave you a good idea of what I'm going to talk about in this video. We got some things we got to touch on, but before we do that, make sure you're subscribed. Have you done that? Good, nice, I like that. And also, don't forget to turn on the notifications for my videos because we're going to be uh, firing off these videos like I've been doing. And last but not least, a like on a video goes a very long way. Just wanted to let you know that. Anyway, the cancellation of Eminem. So, uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, there's definitely some parts of the internet that I personally kind of hate. And one of those places is the let's cancel Eminem part of the internet. A place that apparently has a pretty big group of people who think that Eminem should be canceled for the things he continues to say and has said in the past in his music. Apparently, TikTok a few weeks back had a crazy surge of those people. There were a bunch of users who had a lot of videos go viral and all of them were pointing out specific lyrics and things Eminem has said in his music that they, okay, they deemed as controversial. One of those lyrics was from Love the Way You Lie featuring Riri. This was obviously, and you know, still kind of is to me at least, a smash hit, okay? It was a smash hit back in the good old days, which was not that long ago, 2010. So we're closing in on the song's, you know, 11th year of being out. The song was, of course, on Eminem's recovery project that dropped that same year, and it's about the topic of abusive relationships. The whole song is just straight up an emotional roller coaster, man. The writing was so amazing, crazy performance from Riri on a hook, so much passion in both of their performances, and I think this is why it went so crazy when it came out. Although the rest of us, okay, we, okay, we like the song, we appreciate it. We can definitely read in between the lines of what M is trying to say throughout the entire record. There is a group of people out there who, um, um they missed the fucking point. Eminem has been one of the most controversial figures in hip-hop for two decades and that doesn't appear as though it's gonna change as long as he's still rapping. The rap veteran recently became the center of contention on TikTok over some decade-old lyrics and he appeared to address the uproar with a new lyric video on March 5th. Last week, Shady was trending on TikTok after a fuss was made over lyrics from his 2010 song Love the Way You Lie featuring Riri. I know I'm a liar if she ever tries to leave again. I'm a tired to the bed and set this house on fire. He raps on the particular bar that that is uh, circling on TikTok videos. TikTok user Blank, who has since deleted her account, was the first person to go viral with her video calling out Eminem's lyrics. Many people going at M pointed out how toxic the line is and argued it promoted domestic violence. Some critics, who the f are these critics, started a campaign to cancel the 48-year-old lyricist. Now, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's cancel an artist because you missed the point. That same week though, Eminem put up this tweet right here. I won't stop even when my hair turns gray. I'm tone deaf because they won't stop until they cancel me. These are some bars from a song Tone Deaf that was on the Music To Be Murdered By Side B edition. Definitely seems like a little response, okay? A little nugget to the controversy of people trying to cancel him. I mean, he could have picked out any other part from the song when he tweeted out the animated lyric video, but he chose that specific part. But like we now know, the cancellation thing came up after a bunch of people, presumably people who weren't even born when the song came out, when they heard Love The Way You Lie for the first time and they read the actual lyrics. Like I said though, the specific part that had the snowflakes tripping is is this part right here. As you can see, it's the I'm tired of the games, I just want her back part, I know I'm a liar. Now, context is very important, something that I think isn't very much emphasized in this era where people love picking things apart, in this case art, and they try to paint some kind of narrative that's consistent with whatever worldview they have and then try to cancel people. This is a song about an abusive relationship, which means that there's a lot of emotions involved here. And people, in this case Eminem, people in general in, you know, situations like these say things they either don't don't actually mean or they won't actually follow through with. And at the end of the day, this is a song. This is art. Like Eminem is obviously not gonna set anyone's house on fire, tie them to a bed because she tries to leave. You get what I'm saying? Now you, yes you, if you're listening to this right now, I'm obviously not talking about you because you understand context, but there's a lot of people, just like my UK fam like to say, out there who simply don't. Eminem is a guy who's, for his entire career, went against the grain. He's a guy who honestly, man, has zero Fs to spare, has never conformed to the industry politics, has always stood his ground, never backed down because of the pressure that might be applied to him. I mean, this is a man who has so much confidence to the point where he decides to expose his cheeks, you know, his ass on stage at an award show, double cheek, double on a Thursday afternoon, goddammit. Eminem has a different level of I don't give a damn is what I'm trying to say. Now, what makes people think that he's gonna back down because you're making some little TikTok videos on him exposing that he's promoting domestic abuse, which isn't 
the case. And this reminds me of Tyler the Creator, another extremely polarizing rapper who throughout his time in the industry has done exactly what he wanted to do. The old Tyler was obviously a savage. I mean, I don't even know what way to put it honestly. Savage is for sure the best way to describe his old days. I'm not sure if everyone remembers how many new fans Tyler actually got after his Flower Boy era. Flower Boy marked a completely different era of Tyler the Creator as an artist. He wasn't this edgy young kid anymore who was always trying to stir shit up in the industry. Quite the opposite actually. But with that transition came a lot of different kinds of fans. A lot of fans who weren't with him during his I don't give a damn era when Tyler talked about things like, I'm not gonna say this out loud, I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna say it. I wanna keep the coins for this video if you know what I mean, so I will not do it. Tyler went from that to something like Igor. What a character development we have right here. Throughout the years though, I've seen a lot of new Tyler the Creator fans discovering this old side of him and feeling so betrayed because I didn't know Tyler was this guy. Like I didn't know, I just can't listen to his music anymore. Obviously this is a different situation in comparison to Eminem, but the same thing can be said about both M and Tyler. These are not only artists, but two extremely expressive ones for that matter. They don't let anyone put them in a box as far as what they can say or can't say. And see, the thing is, the things they talk about aren't meant to be taken literally. I mean, we don't see people going off on actors trying to cancel them for playing, you know, a specific character in a movie. So what's up with people trying to do that to artists, man? Why can't artists just be artists, like do artistical things, like make music without people trying to come for them and cancel them? And you know what? From what I've noticed, it's only rappers that get held to this standard, meaning rappers are the only type of artists who just can't be artists without people holding them accountable for writing fictional stories. With that being said, I know there is a lot of rappers who say things and they're actually about it. There's quite a lot of them. However, is holding them to this standard really fair? There's tons of other artists in other genres like Johnny Cash who talked about sniffing coke and shooting his woman down on his song Cocaine Blues, but I've never seen anyone say anything about that, so this is really just a rapper thing. I've never seen it being a problem in other genres with other artists. And this is not a shot at any other artists in other genres. What I'm saying is let artists be artists, period. How hard can it really be? That's what I'm asking. At the end of the day, do you know what I think? I think people are bored. Everyone is looking for something to cancel because they're simply bored with life. Guys like Eminem are at the forefront of the music industry. He's literally sitting at the top and got there by not taking from anyone. And people just don't like that because if you think about it, that is unheard of. And that's why there's not a lot of other rappers we could say the same about. Most artists at the top of the food chain have caved in some type of way sometime in their career, but not Eminem. And cancer culture doesn't like that. Cancer culture tries to come for anyone and anybody who doesn't comply with what they want. They're so obsessed with controlling how others should live their lives because they're too insecure to speak their truth. Eminem is a reflection of the insecurities they carry deep down inside themselves and they want him to conform, apologize, and back down for living his truth? Ain't no way that's gonna happen. Ain't no way. That's not, we're, we're not gonna have that. The cancellation of Eminem is obviously never gonna happen. As a matter of fact, I'm canceling this supposed cancellation of Eminem. How about that, huh? But yeah, the cancellation of Eminem, the internet never seems to surprise me. Never does, man. What do you think? Is Eminem canceled or nah? Clearly, it's a big no-no, but I still wanna see what you have to say. Definitely, let me know in the comment section below and we'll stop discussion about this.